Hey guys, welcome to our first episode of uh, Discord.jsv12. Uh, today we're going to be doing an information and a who is command. Um, with this, we're going to go ahead and start with the info command. So we're going to do message dot dot delete. Excuse me, sorry for my typo. Then we're going to do let uh, info one equal. Let's do. Let's do bot. Let's do v dot one, v one dot zero dot zero for version. Let's do info two for uh, node v twelve. Let info three equal uh, discord dot js v twelve. Let info four equal the bot creator, let's just put my name. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to get started with the embed message. So as previous in discord.js v11, you, you would have done let embed equal new discord.rich embed. That right there would have been your uh, code for starting a rich or for starting a message embed. Well, not anymore. Now it's just going to be message embed okay. we're going to name the title of this uh, embed uh, we're going to be bot information okay we're going to do set color to dark red set footer to message.guild.name set Time stamp. Then we're gonna do the add field. This adds a field to the embed message. We're gonna put a uh, version. And we're gonna do info one true. That puts it in line. So add field. Um, we're gonna put a uh, node version. We're gonna put uh, I don't even know what we're gonna call this coded in info three true add we're gonna, we're gonna set description and we're gonna put um, dot developed by info for. Then what we're going to do is that completes our message embed. So what we're going to do is now we're going to do message dot plus message dot channel dot send embed. Then we're going to do a dot then. We're going to do m m dot delete timeout Put a 10 second timer on it. 10,000 is 10 seconds, by the way. So everything you put in a timeout, this deletes the message after 10 seconds. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and try this out. However, let me see. Let me just double check everything. Okay, we've got something. Set thumbnail. Got to put something in there. We're going to do bot dot user dot display avatar URL. There we go. All right, so we're going to go into our bot. We're going to go ahead, boot it back up, boom. And we're going to go to our Discord. And we're going to go to right here. And we're going to go ahead and do info. There we go. And if we open up this up bigger, bot information developed by Brady124 version coded in Discord 12. Perfect. Our info command is done. Now let's go back over here. And let's get started on our who is command. So we're going to go ahead and do message.delete. 
I'm gonna let user let let user two. Then we're gonna do if message dot mentions. Users dot first user equals message dot mentions dot members dot or dot users excuse me first user t is message dot offset message dot mem mentions dot members dot first I think. I should have made it. Yeah, perfect. All right. We're gonna put our ooh. We're gonna put our semicolons in. We're gonna do else user equals message dot author user two equals message dot member. All right. We're gonna go on down. We're gonna create some other cool things. So first off, we're gonna do let you avatar equal uh, user dot display avatar URL. We're let you created at equal user dot created at dot to local date string. Then we're gonna let you joined at. Ooh, joined at there we go equal user two dot joined at dot to local date string perfect let u id equal user dot id let u presence equal user dot presence dot status I guess the user's presence and now we're going to go ahead and do our embed message with it. So we're going to let embed, well, let's just let who is embed equal new message embed. We're going to do a set title. Uh, who is, and we're going to do user. There we go. Actually, let's just do that. There we go. Then we're gonna do set color. We're gonna do random. Set footer. Message dot guild dot name. Set uh, timestamp. We're gonna do a set thumbnail to e avatar. Set description. Uh, who is user? All right. We're gonna do set. Uh, what else have we not done for setting? Uh, no, nope, I think we've set everything. I'll do the add field. Here we go. Now, here's the fun part. Uh, user. Create user account created creation date. Let's just do that. And then we're going to do you created at. And we're true. Add field user account user joined Discord date. You joined at. True. At field user ID UID true. Let's see what else we can pull off of them. All right, we can do one more here. Let you premium. All right, there we go. Equal um, user two dot premium cents. Uh, 
if new premium is equal to null, new premium equals user is not a server booster. Okay, and under here we're going to define a few more things. So we're going to do if you presence is equal to DND, or you presence equals do not disturb. There we go. If you presence is equal to idle. You presence is, e is equal to idle. This is just going to make it look better. If you presence is equal to online, online. Just going to, oh, sorry. Pff, duh, I should have noticed that. It goes to online. If New presence is equal to streaming. You uh, presence equals live streaming. All right, perfect. There we go. So now what we're gonna do? User status. New presence. This one's going to be um, you pre uh, user or uh, server booster status you premium true. All right. So now we're going to do. There we go. Sorry. Mess message dot channel send. Who is in bed? Dot thin m m dot delete timeout. We're gonna give it a thirty second timer. All right, let's go see what she can do. Take it down, put it back up. Open the Discord. Who is at Brady? Perfect. There we go. Server, I'm not boosting. Uh, I joined the Discord uh, February 27th. My account was created on uh, April 26th. No disturb. User ID. Perfect. I think it looks good. Uh, also, you're allowed to, uh, you know, you can, you have the custom ability, custom ability with embeds. Okay, so that's something that you guys, you can really, you can really tone into, and change around. So, like, let's say you wanted to put this avatar in with the footer, and let's say we change this to author. Let's see what she does now. Oh, well, I gotta get back over here. Who it? Who is ready? There we go. See now my icons here, here, and here. It does lower the text so it can fit that in there. So that is something you gotta watch for. So and then I have the who is at Brady. Let's do one last thing. We're gonna do who is requested by. Request it by. There we go. Now we're going to go in here, take it down, put it back up, put this up. We're going to do a who is at Brady. Who is Brady? Request it by Brady. There you go. There is your who is and uh, info commands. Um, you can change them up, make them your custom customizable to you. I will look 
looked into putting the code up for public use, but I just want you guys to watch the video and try it to yourself. You learn by doing it instead of copying it. So again, uh, stay tuned for next time. We're going to be discussing and going over uh, different commands. We're going to get into the moderation phase, and then after that, we're going to discuss command handlers, event handlers, and so on and so forth. All right, well, we'll see you in the next one.